Hello everyone, uh, another workout today, and uh, I think the phenomenon with tough gut-busting workouts is they seem to compound one another. Um, my last deadlift session was pretty rough on me, and I was hoping this one would uh, would feel easier. I even up my training weights a little bit, um, anticipating the strength game, but then I got called into work today when I wasn't expecting to, and I ended up doing an eight-hour shift starting at 6 a.m., so I was pretty tired going into the workout. And you're going to see the squats, I don't think, look too bad. They actually, they look a lot better than they felt. Um, the weight wasn't hard today. This is, uh, my work sets are at 485 for five triples here uh, with the belt. None of the weights were heavy. I picked it up and it felt better on my back than it has in previous weeks, but I don't know, I think maybe I was just getting lazy, maybe I was just mentally not focused. I had a tendency, at least in these three sets that I was filming, to uh, to come forward a little bit more, and so I ended up really pushing with my toes and not sitting back as hard as I normally do, and so um, it just put a lot more pressure on my lower back, which was already torched from all the deadlifting I did. Uh, there was a lot of high volume pulls from Tuesday's session, so it was just it was just one of those sessions, you know. It's nothing nothing really fancy happened today. I just kind of went in, told myself I don't want to miss a rep. I'm not changing the weights, regardless of what happened with the work schedule, regardless of how much sleep I may or may not have gotten. I'm gonna do this workout, and right there, I'm just telling myself, you can't quit on these, You, no matter how bad they feel, they probably look a lot better than they feel, and I think watching the video, I would be asking myself in the gym, what do you, what do you mean they're hard, because they don't, they don't look too difficult. Move over to the bench, another five pounds up on these work sets, and I added another work set. So I've got 310 here for um, six triples. No gimmicks today, I, I uh, put my feet down for all my work sets, tried pausing the third rep there, and had a little bit of a corkscrew effect, I guess. My my right arm was not quite as solid as I wanted it to. Made these ones a little bit lighter touches on those reps. And yeah, pretty much did all my all my work sets like this. So all six sets. They weren't, you know, particularly easy, but I wasn't dying and I made it all the way through. This was absolutely just demoralizing though. I head back over to the squats and I had warmed up earlier with 425 for two triples with without a belt. I put on 315 with my belt here and just felt like I was going to fall over. These these sets of four were just brutal at 455. And I told myself, I just like you just have to make it through the sets. That's all you have to do is make it through the sets. And it doesn't even matter how you feel, just get through the workout. Afterwards, I pulled out the rings and just did uh, one set here. Last time I did the ring dips, I only did 19 because I miscounted. And so this time I think I did 23 or 24 just to make sure. I, I counted to 20 and then I did a few extra. So just to make sure that I that I did them. Because for some reason I had it in my mind that 20 ring dips is more impressive than 19 ring dips. Which I, I guess it technically is because it's another. Never mind. I'm still a little mentally out of it right now. Uh, did some more of these pike chin slash dip little supersets. After after this, I did a lot of uh, calf work. Um, I didn't film that because it's it was pretty boring. But this is just another example of a day when you when you go in and you know that the workout is going to be challenging. And there's a couple points where it doesn't feel like everything's going great, but you just have to put your head down and drive through it. It doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things what your individual workouts are like, because the only time that your lifts matter are at the meet. And so you put in the work, and you don't pull punches just because you have a session the next day or two days from then. It's just you have to you have to grit through it, and training is supposed to be harder than your competition. That's why you... You know, that's why you train as hard as you can. Next session, uh, tomorrow I'm going to do some strongman training and some c conventional pulls. I'm still kind of figuring out how that's going to go, but should be a lot of fun. Thank you guys for watching. Been really enjoying the comments still. I, I'm expecting to get sick of it, and I'm still not, so thanks for that. 
Um, if you enjoyed the video or learned something, go ahead and hit the like button. And uh, if you could show your support by subscribing or doing that, I'd appreciate it. So thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.